Hi, today we will create a text particle dissolve effect using fusion particle tools in DaVinci Resolve 17. As always, we create a new fusion composition for the demo, open it in the fusion page. Drag a text node into the node editor and enter essential particles as the text. Change the size and tracking to fit the text in the middle of the screen. With the text node selected, click the rectangle icon in the toolbar a rectangle mask is added to the text node automatically. In the inspector, set the mask width and mask height to 1. Move the playhead to frame 6, where we will start a wipe animation. Enable the keyframe for the rectangle mask center. Move to frame 36, which will be the end of the animation. Change the X value until the title disappears. Move the playhead to the middle of the animation so that we can review the edge result as we adjust the soft edge values. Now we have a wipe out effect applied to the text title. Drag a p-emitter and p-render from the toolbar into the editor. With the p-emitter node selected, go to the region tab in the inspector. Set the region from sphere to bitmap and a yellow region bitmap input is added to the emitter node. Connect the text node to bitmap input and merge the p-render node with the text node. In the inspector of the emitter node, set the number to 1000. Particles are emitted in the text title as we move the playhead forward. While the emitter node is selected, press shift space to bring up the tool selection window. Find and add p-turbulence after the emitter node. Adjust the turbulence x, y, z strength to get a dissolving result that we like. Next, we need to create an animated mask for the emitter so that particles are emitted along with the text letters wiping away. Click the empty spot in the editor to make sure no node is selected. Press shift space and find time speed, add to the editor. Connect the rectangle output to the time speeds input and drag the time speed into the left viewer. Go to the inspector and change the delay to 5 frames. This will give us a delayed and animated mask of the rectangle mask. Bring the rectangle node into the right viewer so that we can compare the differences. As we move the playhead forward, the wiping effect in the left viewer falls behind by 5 frames. With the time speed node selected, click the channel booleans in the toolbar, which adds the node and connects the time speed to its background input automatically. While holding the Alt key, Drag the output of the rectangle node to the channel booleans node and select foreground from the menu. Drag the channel booleans node to the left viewer. In the inspector, change the operation to subtract. And we see that in the left viewer, the mask becomes a vertical strip. Now as we move the playhead, the strip mask follows the main rectangle mask. Select the text node, press Ctrl C to create a copy. Press Ctrl Shift V or right click to bring up the menu and select Paste Instance to add an instance of the text node into the node editor. Connect the channel booleans node to the new text node instance, drag the text instance to the left viewer and see that only the letters inside the strip mask are showing. Disconnect the emitter node from the original text node and link to the new text instance which will limit the emitter to emit particles only for the letters showing, not before or after. Let's drag the media out node into the right viewer so that we can see the final result. Move the playhead and we can see that particles are showing as the wiping goes right. But they seem to stay on the screen for the rest of the clip. Select the emitter node, go to the inspector. We can simply adjust the lifespan value to shorten or extend the time the particles stay visible on the screen. For this demo I leave it with the default 100 frames. Another way to make them disappear sooner is increasing the velocity. It behaves like a blowing wind. In the velocity section, increase the velocity a bit and check the result, now the particles are blown to the right and disappear. Adjust the angle and angle variance to make the wind blowing effect a bit more natural. Select the turbulence node and play with the strength parameters until we achieve a result to our liking.
Now it looks good. There is one more thing. If we change the text color and review the result, the particles are still white, not the new text color. Select the emitter node in the inspector, change color to use color from region. Now the particles are emitted in the text color. If you want to change size of the particles, go to the style tab in the inspector, set the style to blob, which allows you to adjust particle sizes in the size control section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.